Hey everybody, this is Will Mahoney, an environmental educator for International Field Studies. Today I want to talk a little bit about bonefish. Bonefish are super important to the Bahamas economically, and then today we're going to talk about why that is, as well as where you can find bonefish in the Bahamas, and what they're eating, and what preys upon them. Bonefish are found all across the world in tropical and warm temperate waters, especially when those waters are shallow. Tidal flats, mangroves, and the deeper waters surrounding these areas are all important habitat for bonefish. Albula vulpes, the species of bonefish found here in the Bahamas, has a very wide distribution as can be seen in this figure. Right now I'm standing on a tidal flat, which is a shallow area along the coastline. It's influenced by the tides, so as the tide comes in, this area will flood with water, and as that tide goes out, the water will leave the flat leaving it completely dry, sometimes for a long period of time. The tides here in the Bahamas generally average between two and four feet. This is a perfect place to find bonefish. Bonefish are very in tune with the tidal movements and will move onto a flat and even into the mangroves with the rising tide to feed and then move off of the flat as the tide falls. They then retreat to deeper water to wait for the next rising tide. They move onto the flats to feed on things like crabs, shrimp, marine worms, and other small benthic invertebrates. Feeding in water the shallow can be dangerous though. Predators like sharks, barracudas, and even osprey love to eat bonefish and there's nowhere to hide on the open flats. Their only defense is their speed. That's why when they sense danger, bonefish leave the flat quickly at speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. Andros Island is the largest Bahamian island and this means that it has large amounts of great habitat for bonefish. In the waters of Andros Island, there are hundreds of miles of shallow tidal flats and mangroves, all very close to deep water. The flats here are teeming with life, and this is why the bonefish here on Andros Island are some of the biggest in the Bahamas, and why Andros Island has earned the nickname, the bonefish capital of the world. Bonefish thrive in the warm, shallow coastal waters of the Bahamas. Andros Island is the largest island in the Bahamas, so it supports a lot of bonefish and has a multitude of different shallow water habitats. Bonefish here on Andros Island can get bigger than other places in the Bahamas, and they need protection, but not just on Andros, across their entire range. This will benefit not only bonefish, but their habitat, as well as a multitude of other organisms. Bonefish are a huge source of income for thousands of Bahamians. Fishing guides, lodge owners, and many more depend on a productive fishery in order to support themselves. Protecting bonefish and their habitat is vital to the people of the Bahamas. If you would like to learn more about bonefish and what it takes to protect them, make sure to check out the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust website, as well as getting in touch with Bahamas National Trust. We also have links on our website that can tell you more about bonefish. Thank you from International Field Studies.